Good morning and welcome to the video for Tuesday, May the 12th. This is going to be our homework video for sixth grade, working on our lesson with mean absolute deviation. And so to start with, let's go ahead and take a look at number two. So I went ahead and kind of calculated. One of the things I did down here was write them down here. Um, you'll see later on that I'm, I write the numbers above. So I would say that I'm four, four spots away, so I'd write a four here and a zero here and a six here. Um, I usually do it the way you'll see later on. Uh, once you get comfortable with this, if you know that you can do it without making mistakes, then maybe uh, that would be a good time to start doing that. But for right now, let's go ahead and practice kind of the way that they showed us in the lesson. So we would end up getting 28 uh, deviation points divided by seven data points, and that means our mean absolute deviation would be four for number two. For number three, uh, this one ends up being really easy because I've got four zeros. And so all I need to do is do two, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 12. 12 divided by 12 data points is going to give us one. Uh, for number four, uh, this one wasn't quite as friendly. And so uh, we had a wide spread of things. So I went ahead and started with my zeros. Another strategy that I sometimes use is I work my way from the center to the outside. Again, this is something that you can do later on when you're comfortable with it. Um, if you're able to do it right now, that's perfectly fine again. Um, but I usually suggest you just kind of work your way across or in the order that the numbers are given. Uh, and so you get comfortable with it. So here's our total. We ended up with 36 on the top, 15 on the bottom. When we divide, we would get 2 and 6 fifteenths, which reduces to 2 and 2 fifths, which reduces to 2.4 if we change it to a decimal. Um, for number 5, uh, went ahead and calculated all of these data points. 8 ended up being our mean, so we got uh, 48 divided by 6. Uh, data points gives us a mean of 8, and then we can work our way um, from there. So I started from the left, and so I got 2 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3 plus 2 to get 12 over 6, and that gave us the answer of 2. Uh, for this one, again, we want to use degrees. I added all of these up, got 355. We're dividing by 5 data points, so our mean would be 71 degrees Fahrenheit. And so then we would go ahead and and uh, go ahead and work the rest of it. So our, we had, we're 22 deviation points away from the mean divided by five data points. And that's going to reduce uh, to 4.4 and that should be degrees Fahrenheit uh, for that. Number seven, uh, here would be an example of our uh, chart. So we went ahead and we had eight data points. I got a total of 96, which means 12 is going to be um, our mean for this and we go ahead and plot those and count uh, the number of uh, deviation points and divide by our number of data points to get a mean absolute deviation of 1.25. Um, on the back, I felt both of these were pretty easy. Again, I took the um, example that I was talking about a moment ago, took my mean and just went through and figured out how far away I was for each of those. Count those numbers up. I already know that I'm dividing by six and that was an easy uh, job to do and that gave us an answer of three kind of a similar thing for this We got a number that uh, is easy to count by eights to get to uh, So there's the work for that and we got the answer three again um, I made a mistake when I was talking through the lesson. I've been really tired lately um, And so uh, I made a mental lapse there. Um, I talked about doubling all of these um, to make them represent uh, being parts over two instead of whole numbers. And then I said that and then forgot to do that with the five. And so I caught that when I was working through it. So apologies for that. Um, so we get 240 on the top, eight on the bottom. 240 divided by eight would give us 30 meters cubed for our volume of our rectangular prism. There are only 30 days in September. So I have 25 days accounted for for my first two plus four gives me 29, which means I only have one day left. And so that would be the number that would go here. Uh, for number five, uh, the number of laps is the, for the mode would be the number eight is the only number that is repeated. Uh, for number six, uh, we can go ahead and write all the numbers in order. We have nine numbers. So my fifth number is going to be the median. Our upper quartile is going to be the average of these two numbers since we're working with four data points 
uh, to find the upper quartile. And so halfway between 50 and 55 would be 52 and a half or 52.5. So those are the problems for the homework. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out in Google Classroom or uh, ask your classroom teacher if you have any additional questions. I think the lesson for this is probably more complicated for me to explain than it might actually be to do. It's just, again, a matter of taking a little bit of time and showing attention to detail uh, to be able to find that. So our uh, new lesson will be coming out at the same time as this video. So go ahead and make sure you check that out as well uh, to get assistance for that. Hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.